Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Thorne, CEO of Thorne Technologies. Today, I'd like to give you a quick demo of our new product, Storage Link. Storage Link lets you share files from your private cloud storage locations. It's a lot like our existing product, SFTP Gateway, but an SFTP client is not required. Your users can upload or download files using a simple drag and drop interface right from their web browser. So follow along with me as we take a quick look at Storage Link. This is the screen you'll see when you first launch Storage Link. Here you create the initial admin account. The admin is responsible for managing users, creating folders, managing their permissions, and linking them to cloud storage locations. You can ignore this browser warning at the top. You see this because we're using a self-signed certificate. That allows us to access the admin dashboard using the IP address. You can check out our knowledge base at help.thorntech.com for information on how to create your own SSL certificate and add your own domain name. You can also find a lot of information about how to launch and first set up Storage Link. I'm going to create our admin user with the name of admin and choose a complex password. After we create our admin account and log in, The first thing that we'll see is a prompt to create the default cloud storage location. The default cloud storage location is the mapping at the root of the file system. You can choose to connect to an Azure Blob storage account, an AWS S3 bucket, or a Google Cloud storage bucket. I'm going to create a connection to an Azure Blob storage account. The storage account name I'm going to use is storage link demo and the container name is demo container. Under credentials, I'm going to create a new set of credentials which can be saved and reused later or they can be conveniently rotated from our settings menu up top. For Azure, all we need is the connection string and you can refer to our knowledge base for more information on how to find your connection string. We have a test connection button down here, which shows us if everything is working. You can see that we can connect, we can read, and we can write. So our default cloud connection is good to go. Now that we've created our default cloud storage location, let's create a user so we could share some files with them. You can create users under the user section of the admin screen. I'm gonna create a user named Bob. I'm going to give him a role of web user. You could also create other admin users to help you manage Storage Link. I'm going to suggest a complex password for Bob and make sure that he has to change it when he logs in. By default, users get a home folder located at users slash Bob. I'll show you where to find that in a minute. We could also set different permissions. Bob can list the files. He can view what's there. He can upload or download or delete and override. You can create different sets of permissions to let users do different actions on files. I'm also going to use the cloud connection we created a moment ago by inheriting from the default. I'm going to hit save. And there you can see our user Bob. If I go to folders now, you can see there is now a folder for users. If I double click on that, we can see Bob's home folder here. Now let's log in as Bob and see what things look like from his perspective. Once I log in as Bob, you'll notice I'll be prompted to change the password. So I'm going to choose a complex password for Bob. And once I log in, notice that the interface looks a little bit different. We no longer have the admin settings on the side. This is the user's view of Storage Link. Here I can view upload or download files according to my permissions. So we can create a directory. Let's call it Bob's Images. If I want to upload a file to that, I simply need to drag and drop something here. So let's upload an image. You can see here upload succeeded and the file is listed there. If you recall our default cloud connection was to an Azure storage container. 
Let's check that out now and show you where the files land. So here's our demo container. If I hit refresh, here's our users folder that was created by storage link. Here's the directory, Bob's images, that we just created. And there's the Thorn Tech logo that we just uploaded. Now, let's see how we can customize the look and feel of Storage Link so Bob sees our corporate branding. To customize the look and feel of Storage Link, I'm going to log back in as the admin. Under Settings, there are a couple options. Here you can see the cloud credentials that we talked about earlier. We could also configure external identity providers. This lets users log in using OAuth2 and external OIDC authentication providers. Under theme customization is how we change the look and feel. I'm going to replace the storage link logo with a different one. Let's choose the ThornTech logo. We could also change the favicon or however you say that, which is a little icon that shows up here in your browser tab. Again, let's choose the Thorn Tech icon. We could change the page title, so instead of storage link, we can call it the Thorn Tech File Portal. And we could change our theme colors. So to highlight this, let's choose something really different, like a green. So our primary color, we'll make like a, a darker green. And the secondary color for highlights, we'll make that a lighter green. We'll also change the font color. So let's make the primary a darker green so we can read it. And the secondary for highlights, let's make it something that really stands out, like an orange. Okay, so if we save that, you'll see that our theme colors are drastically different. Now let's log in as Bob and see what it looks like for him. You can see that the buttons and the text are the custom colors that we chose. And he sees the ThornTech logo and it's called the ThornTech File Portal. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of Storage Link. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on how to use Storage Link and SFTP Gateway. And if you need any help, you can always reach us at support at We hope you enjoy using Storage Link.